Hi there, and welcome to a slightly overcast Spain today, and hence the 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 long sleeve sweater that I'm wearing. I've got a question here from Elizabeth, and Elizabeth's asking that after a long run or marathon, what type of um, or how much electrolytes should she be consuming, and what kind of electrolytes? Well, Elizabeth, first and foremost, thanks very much for the question. And when it comes to what type of electrolytes, personally from my, and what I would work with with all, all the athletes that I'm working with, is my focus on electrolyte replenishment is being looking at weighing more heavily to the potassium side of electrolyte replenishment rather than the sodium side. Simply because post-marathon, post-long training session, post-ultra, there's a certain amount of inflammation that you have within the body which tends to cause which tends to cause say a little bit of swelling now add so sodium into the matter and sodium each gram of sodium or each ounce of sodium that you ingest that ounce of sodium latches onto a further 10 ounces of water and th all that gives you is a whole lot of water bloat over and on top of the little bit of inflammation that you may have picked up, muscular inflammation that you may have picked up as well and that just makes your legs blow out size wise and it makes you feel heavy and it makes you feel sluggish and you don't want to be feeling that in your recovery period post marathon or post ultra so from my perspective be look, looking at electrolytes that are potassium rich so my go-to recovery drink that I would suggest athletes take will be a huge big banana smoothie something along the lines of 10 bananas uh, a cup of water blend it up in the blender and smash that back that gives you your carbohydrates replacement and it gives you your potassium rich electrolytes as well that's my take on the matter. Share your comments and questions down below. If you'd like this type of video content, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. That way I know what type of content to be putting out in the future. And share this out amongst your friends. And last but by no means least, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down there as well. That way you stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new content that I put out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.